You're gonna have the skeptics. You're gonna have the naysayers. Let's let's get this going. Let's get this show on the road and have a blast. I just want I just want to look hot for you. <laughs> so I came out of my shell after with with this product, and I just I blossomed. I became who I should be. Uh, Black Label got me uh, dancing in the kitchen while I'm cooking dinner. Kitchen. That my husband came downstairs at 5:30 in the morning. And is like, what are you doing? And I was like, I must be thriving. Lavelle, the company that rolled out the product line Thrive, Thrive is sold through a multi-level marketing structure that recruits people who can work from home. These people are called consultants, and the consultants sell the product for the company. The consultants use, well, in this day and age, their existing social media to look for people who are interested in this so-called business opportunity, and that's how they grow their network. So think about who you're connected to through social media. That's right, consultants are recruiting their family, their friends, their coworkers, their acquaintances, people that they you know run into while they're going about their business and their own life or maybe in activities for their children and they approach them with this so-called business opportunity but there's got to be a catch right what exactly gets people to say yes to this business opportunity but before I get ahead of myself and telling you about the secret hook that multi-level marketing companies use to recruit people, let's determine if multi-level marketing companies are actually offering a business opportunity that is a viable business opportunity to most of the people who enroll as consultants. And although most multi-level marketing companies claim that you can start up your business with little to no upfront cost, we're going to take a look at the real cost of giving a shot to success in a multi-level marketing company in both financial terms and the real price most people pay that is far more precious than dollars, cents, or euros. So let's start by taking a look at the Lavelle Commission Plan. Now, these commission plans are very complicated and I believe that is by design. Not everybody understands what they're looking at when they get into it. They just see some high potential earning dollars and in my opinion, they think, hey, well, that's great. That's what I'm gonna make, so awesome. Let's do this. So uh, you see here, we have level one, two, three, and four in the upper right-hand box, okay? And then on the, in the lower box, the rectangular box that spans across the entire page, we have levels one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? Now, if you look at the Unilevel Team Commissions, now just stay with me, I'm gonna explain all this, I promise. You'll see going across from left to right, it says paid rank, promoter, 4K VIP, 12K VIP, and 40K VIP, 80K VIP, and 200K VIP. So you see, 
as you go from promoter to the 200K VIP, you're basically selling more volume. So when you see PV, that stands for personal volume. That's the volume of product that supposedly you're supposed to purchase to remain at that level. So it says 100 PV across the board. So each month, Lavelle wants you to spend $100 personally on yourself. Guys, no, 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 no. I assure you that never happens, especially as people get up into the higher levels, okay? Then you're going to see... QV. What that stands for is quality volume or quantitative volume. I've seen it two different ways depending on the MLM that you're talking about. So what that means is the total volume that you yourself and your team brings in monthly. Let's look at the 12K VIP column because that's when people start getting that sought after car bonus. So what the car bonus is, first of all, is it's $300 cash or $800 directly towards a lease per month. They give you a choice of a Tesla, a Lexus, a BMW, and some other expensive cars. Now, guys, the thing is, you have to stay at this level of selling each month to maintain your status within the company and also to maintain your car bonus. So if one month you dip below what the requirement is to get that car bonus, that $800 payment on your lease is on you. No help from Lavelle whatsoever, okay? So as we're looking at that 12K VIP level, we see it says 100 PV. So you're supposed to sell $100 yours, or purchase $100 of products yourself. $100 personal volume. Then it says 12,000 QV. And underneath that, it says 7,200 QV. So the 12,000 is the minimum QV that yourself and your team must be bringing in per month. So that means yourself and your team must be selling, selling $12,000 worth of products per month. Now it gets even more particular than that because the 7200 is associated with a max strong leg QV. So what that means is you cannot sell all of your products through one strong leg. So picture, you know, the pyramid scheme where there's the triangle, you're at the top ostensibly and there's people beneath you and then more people beneath the row that's beneath you and more people beneath the row that's beneath them. So if you have a strong leg, you know, some high sellers or just some consultants that are purchasing a lot because they want to maintain their status, the maximum that you can get out of one leg, your strong leg is $7,200. So that means you still be, have to come up with $4,800 from your not so strong leg in this pyramid scheme structured business. Now, let me tell you guys what happens a lot of the time and not all the time. There are some people who are successful in MLMs. There are some people who on a monthly basement basis make this volume honestly and reach these levels. Reaching these levels of achievement month after month and month over month is very difficult. As you're going to see in some statistics, I'm going to show you in a moment it's nearly impossible. So what happens is, and I believe this is what happened with Shanann Watts, is that people will purchase an insane amount of product so they can maintain that level. Now there are some limits as to how much you yourself can purchase of that $12,000 QV that's needed to maintain that 12K VIP status, but theoretically, a consultant could buy most of that or a good part of that $12,000 worth of product themselves to stay at that level. And when they do, I think what they do is they justify it by saying, well, I'm going to have all this product on hand to share with people to, you know, do my local parties in case some of my downline or 
the people that I've signed up underneath me need some product that they can share so they can grow their business, then I'll have that on hand. And it's going to be good for the growth of my business to have all of this product on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it. But what happens is when you need to do that month after month, you simply can't afford it. And the money that you're bringing in through the MLM and perhaps the MLM and another full-time or part-time job is not even going to be covering what you owe and the amount of product you've purchased. Isn't that crazy? Now let's take a look at the 200,000 K VIP level because that's where Shanann Watts was supposedly at. The requirement to be at that level is to bring in 200,000 QV. That's $200,000 worth of products sold through yourself and your team and their downlines. And we see the number $120,000 underneath the $200,000. So that's the maximum that your strong leg can bring in. So even your weaker sales legs still need to bring be bringing in $80,000 worth of sold product of that $200,000 QV or $200,000 of product for a person to maintain that 200K VIP level. And we ask, where did the $10,000 go to that Shanann had Chris take out of his 401k. I'll throw that question right, right back yeah. at you. Hit it down there. Hit it, Bella. Hard. Hit it hard. Uh, Bend down and hit it. Come nice. on. Oh! <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again, Bella. Here it is. The question remains exactly how many people of those who attempt success in an MLM actually reach any level of success. Let's take a look at the Lavelle Income Disclosure Form for the year 2000. I'm sorry, 2020. So every MLM is required to publish an income disclosure form, and this is Lavelle's. So you'll see the top level is promoter, or at the top of the chart, the top row, it says promoter. Going down, it says 4K VIP, 12K VIP, 40K VIP, 80K VIP, and 200K VIP. So as you go down in the rows, you're going up, you know, in the levels of success, potential success in Lavelle. So we see here that 94.7 of active Lavelle consultants selling Thrive are at the promoter level. And 75.6 of the total 100% of active Lavelle consultants are at that team building level. So when you're selling Thrive, you have two possibilities for income, just being an active promoter or consultant and then being a team builder. It's like a plus, you get a little more, right? So 94.7% of consultants in Lavelle are at the promoter level and they're making an average of $159 per year. The 75.6% of consultants selling Thrive at the promoter level are team building. So they're making a little more, $650 a year on average. So then we see at the 4K VIP level, 3.2% of all active Lavelle consultants are there. And 15.1% are at that team building level. So they're making a little more. Actually, <laughs> when we go over the row, we see actually they're making a little less. I'm not sure how that works. Um, so their average is about $4,700 per year, but that's only 3.2% of all of the consultants in Lavelle. So going up to that 12K VIP level, 
that's the level where you get the car bonus on a month by month basis. So you have to maintain this level every month. So 12K VIP, remember, means that you're selling $12,000 of product you and your team are, and your strongest leg can only sell so much. Why you wanna make this work? I'm not selling the product. I'm sharing, I'm just telling my story. This is what it's done for me. What can it do for you? So 1.5% of Lavelle consultants are at that 12K VIP level and 6.7% are at the 12K team building level. So they're making an average of about $20,000 a year. Now, once we go up to that 40K VIP level, we see only 0.3% of consultants in Lavelle are at the active um, 40K VIP level. And 1.3% are at the 40K VIP level and they're team building. It's a very small percent. So they're making about $50,000 a year. Pretty good. But again, guys, it's less than 1% of all consultants in Lavelle. At the 80K VIP level, 0.2% of active consultants have reached that and 0.8% of consultants are team building at that level. So they're making a good income, $95,000 a year, but that is a small fraction of a percent of the consultants that go for success in this company. And that 200K VIP level, the level that Shanann Watts claims to have been at, guys, only 0.1% of all of the people who are still active in Lavelle that year tried their success at being a consultant. Only 0.1% ever reached that level and they are making a really good living. So that's $340,000 a year. Heck, I would take it. Honey, Shanann Watts was not making $340,000 a year. God bless her soul. Seriously, I wish she was. I believe that Shanann Watts was a good businesswoman. She had business sense. I think that she could have been successful in a stable business that was not an MLM structure if she applied herself. I really do believe that. But guys, she says she was at that 200K VIP level and the average income yearly is $340,000 yet. They were on the verge of declaring bankruptcy and barely had a dollar to their name. So, you know, we see guys that of those trying success in Lavelle with Thrive, 94.7%, about 95% hang out at that promoter level and they're making a couple hundred bucks a year. So, you know, and this is relatively typical average of an MLM company. I looked at several different ones. As I've shared with you guys, I've been involved in a few MLM companies and this is typical. Some are a little more favorable, but not by much. There were many family and relationship dynamics that people wonder, did this have anything to do with the tragedy that happened on August 13th, 2018? Now, first, let me be clear. This channel in no way blames Shanann Watts for her death or for the death of her children. We are simply talking about some circumstances that all human beings might encounter at some point in time during their life that we have common interest in and people tend to discuss. One of these issues is the Watts family financial situation. It is known that Chris and Shanann Watts declared bankruptcy in June of 2015. And that bankruptcy or the debts associated with that bankruptcy were then discharged in September of 2015. We can see and it is known upon review of the Watts financial documents at the time of the tragic deaths of Shanann, Bella, Celeste, and unborn baby Nico, that the Watts family was headed for having to declare another bankruptcy less than three years after declaring the first. What was going on here? 
Let's listen to what Chris Watts' mother, Cindy Watts, had to say about the couple's financial situation in the extended last chapter of her book, All My Broken Pieces. Well, this part of that chapter didn't actually make it into the book, but it still lives on in transcript or manuscript form. And I'm reading from that transcript here. I always told myself he was like Ronnie because Ronnie had always been quiet, but he's nothing like Ronnie. I don't know. I'd spend all day and night a year later still trying to find something, anything that I missed. And I must have, but I don't have any answers. We have grief. It will always be with us. I know grief. It walks with me. I know confusion and despair but I don't think I know my son. Everything, oh, I'm sorry. Now this is a little part of a letter from Sandy Rusick. I know my son, everything seemed fine. Our daughter never spoke about anything that she did, but she did speak to us about bankruptcy a lot. Debt with all of the medical bills. Now this goes back to Cindy Watts narrating again. Sandra and Frank were way ahead of us then. Chris never told us about the bankruptcy at all. I found out later, after. And there wasn't much in the way of medical debt in 2015 when they declared bankruptcy, but there was $70,000 in unsecured debt, <clears throat> stuff they had bought. Somewhere in there, Chris had sold his Mustang to get cash for the Lexus down payment lease. By then he had his work truck. When I look at the bankruptcy filing, so much money and for what? Clothes, trips they couldn't have afforded. Sandy and Frank had to give them money for their passports. If they couldn't pay for that, what in the world did they go on any of those trips that were really just parties where they bought more overpriced clothing, this time Thrive Stuff, it was crazy spending. Chris claims now he didn't know about their money situation. I say, really? Two years later, they were right there again. And it's not too hard to figure out. He was making 60000 a year. Their mortgage was 2700 Another one fifty for the homeowners. 2000 a month for daycare. 600 a month for car payments, not counting insurance. They were already in the negative before utilities and food. So why go on pricey trips and buy clothes and toys and get your nails done on Shanann's part? They treated money like monopoly cash. In two short years, they were underwater again, having learned nothing and apparently neither had their banks because how anyone was so stupid to give those two credit is beyond me. We can see by examining, examining the bankruptcy documents that in 2013, both Shanann and Chris's income equaled $147,000 around there. In 2014, their combined income was about $91,000. And in 2015, year to date, as of June 2015, their combined income was around $41,000. So that's about halfway through the year. So if you double that amount, that would be about $80,000. So what was going on from 2013 to 2015 that caused their combined income to decrease by so much? Generally speaking, young married couples will increase their income year after year, barring no economic anomalies or personal tragedies. We can see here from this document that the Watts' personal liability totaled about $448,000 with their unsecured debt being about $70,000. So my friends, what that unsecured debt is, is primarily credit cards. 
These credit cards are itemized throughout the bankruptcy documents. And during the previous live stream, I went through and read these itemized credit card unsecured debts that the Watts were holding that were later discharged in September of 2015 after the Watts officially declared bankruptcy in June of 2015. You see the date of the signature of the debtor here, June 4th, 2015. We have now established a timeline of the Watts financials and the bankruptcy. So the obvious question or inquiry is to ask, what was going on in the Watts life that caused them to be in such financial ruins? We will follow up with more discussion on this topic, but for the rest of this video, I just want you to take a look, coming right from the source, at what was going on in the Watts life in 2014, 2015, and 2016, according to Shanann Watts' Facebook posts. Keeping in mind, the bankruptcy filing is dated June 4th, 2015, and the documents tell us that the debts were discharged in September of 2015. You wanna see daddy thriving? You guys might get dizzy here. Watch DC's blank, fellas. <laughs> CC's enjoying it. Yee! <laughs> I think daddy's dizzy. Daddy's very dizzy. Hold on, let daddy catch his uh, um, balance. <laughs> Hold on. Cece. Oh, kid. Oh my goodness, kid. You need a break? Daddy did the running and you need the break? Watch them. Right. You got a duck though, because your daddy's tall and you're tall. Just watch the fan. You got my hair? Right. Watch out, Dieter. <laughs> watch out, Cece. <laughs> Cece, watch. <laughs> Cece, wait, honey. Cece, wait. It's Bella's turn. Cece don't like sharing. Thanks, Shannon. We gotta catch up. Come here, baby. <laughs> Alright, go by daddy. Go by daddy. Chrissy's gonna lose it. He's so dizzy. You can tell he's slowing down. Oh, this is hilarious. Again? Stacey, I think you're dizzy, buddy. I couldn't agree more, Debbie. <laughs> Your happiness in their voices. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. Daddy's uh Daddy's dizzy. dizzy. <laughs> Come here, Cece. Cece. This one never stops. Come here, Cece. Look. Cece. 
Come here. Come look. Look at. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, Didi. It's your birthday. Cinco de Mayo, your birthday, Didi. All right. Say goodbye, everybody. Wave. Bella, say goodbye. Say bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> Bye. She doesn't stop. Come in right here. Are you having too much fun? <laughs> Close the door. Oh, wait, turn it up. Nice. You want you want music? Yes. Okay. What? Yeah. You know how I turn the music on? Tell Alexa. Yeah. Where is she? She's in the kitchen. Say Alexa, eighties music, please. Yeah, they are expensive. I got a really good deal. Ours was 11 and a half pounds, paid 40 bucks for it at uh, St. Uh, King Supers. Oh, it's continuously blessing me and my family. And I can't tell you how much, um, how blessed I feel. And after this call tonight, not only do I know I'm with the right company, but I'm also know that I'm, I am changing my my friends and family's lives as, as we speak. Um, Oh my God, I'm still in shock. I got to call you guys. Um, I don't know. It's, it's amazing. Um, hi, baby. Um, and to be able to have that time freedom with my children. You want to say hi? You want a snack? Okay, go pick a snack out, okay? Um, I have to go help her with a snack. I'll show you. Um, but literally, you guys, if you have been waiting, have you been watching, let me know. Um, you guys, if you want to join me, I have this for you. This packet of DOTs, the I am 2017, I am going to be on that stage in Dallas in, um, April 28th. Um, I'm so excited to see Emmett Smith talk. Uh, I'm not a Dallas fan, but I love Emmett Smith. Hold on, baby. Um, so I'm super excited. Um, Christine, I am literally, okay, baby, no, just one, honey, um, absolutely, um, so excited, okay, baby, um, so you guys literally reach out to me, if you're ready to do this, let's do this now, now's the time, um, let's, let's get this going, let's get this show on the road and have a blast, Bella, put one back, baby. hard to say no to that face, but I got to get one of those back. So you guys have a wonderful night and literally my team, not on my team. Let's get connected. Let's do this. Um, let's make this our year. Like let's, 
change lives, guys. Let's let's share what we love about um, Thrive. And um, I'm working for that million dollar bonus. So I will see you guys. I got to get to work. Love you. As we're sitting here watching my amazing promoters share their Thrive experience, it's been a true blessing this week to listen to 10 Hi. promoters Hi. share their experience and because of me, their life has changed. It's been a blessing to be able to help people feel that great and to be a part of their story. It's the most rewarding part of what I do. So my hair. He's climbing all over me. So, um, Thrive Experience, it's free. It's free to promote. It's free to thrive. I thrive every month for free. Hobby thrives for free. Hi. Hey. Hi to the girls. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness. Cece's waving. <laughs> Here. Okay, we're gonna hold the chair. You ready? You're gonna go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thrice for free. Daddy thrice for free. Free. Um, my in-laws, my sister-in-law, everyone thrives for free. All you have to do is share. Share how much you love it. Share how great it is. Share how much it's helped you. And you get your product for free. Um, just like I gave a shout out to the restaurant last night, um, Benihana. They don't give me anything for doing that. They don't give me a free meal the next time I come because someone came in there because I referred them. Um, Thrive does that. They give you your product for free. When you just refer to Good morning. Come here. Bagel. Okay, I'll make you a bagel. I'll get you a bagel. Come say hi. Hi. You don't want to say hi. She's hangry. Um, that's what we call hangry around here. Until she eats, she's hangry. Get your hands out of your mouth. Oh, monster. I love you too, Christina. I'm right here. No, you don't need a saving. I'm right here. Uh oh. Isn't kids' expression? I'm coming. I know. Oh, I don't know. Did Santa leave? <laughs> he leave? Santa went bye bye. Can you help me? No. How I kept up here. Have a hearty, jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there is no. Have a cup of beer. Ho, ho, the mistletoe. I'm mad I can't see somebody that's for you. Kiss her. Wants for me. Have a hearty, jolly Christmas. Yes, no. Get up, 
friend is way what's waiting for Get out your basket on the floor Hot dog, 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 Brand new way, what you waiting for? Get up, stretch out, get on the floor. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggy dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggy dog. It's a brand new way, what you waiting for? Get up, stretch out, get on the floor. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggy dog. Hot dog, hot dog, diggy dog. It's a brand new way, what you waiting for? Get up, stretch out, get on the floor. What, Miss Chumps? Mommy, mommy, mommy. Hot dog, hot dog. Mommy, mommy. I don't want him to really go in the ocean, ocean. I mean, the. Ready, set? Go. 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 <laughs> the pool opens in two weeks, too. Uh, what's the degrees today? 85, the last 120. I checked. 120. Oh, wow. yeah. No, Cece. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Cece, get girl. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? She can, she can climb that. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, don't look at Daddy. He's opening his birthday present. I, 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 I want my I want He's getting I, a month of thrive. Catch it up. Oh, you got to me. Kidding me. I want all I got a center this, Bella. You serious? Ice, 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 The kids are thrilled with your birthday present. Oh, oh, yeah, definitely wearing this. Are you serious? Serious. Hell yeah! Oh my goodness! Cece got her ice. June, June 7th. Oh my goodness, I gotta take that day off and the day after off. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Do it back to Cece. What? Bella. Do it, Bella. No, no, cheater! Go, Cece. Oh. Ah! Ah! Grab it, Bella, don't Grab scream. Come on, do it. 
Hey, Peter, stop it. Stop, Peter. Yeah? Alright. Poor Peter. Peter. Hold on, dude. It's gonna come when he's chasing the car. <laughs> Your turn, Bella. No! Just do it back, do it back. Cece, go by daddy. Gotta do it back. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Come on. 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 Come Crash. I'm no longer having fun. Cece, not on the window, babe. Cece! Hold on. Alright, guys. See you later. I'm gonna tease you a little bit more. Yeah, it's Sue. It's a German. Um, we um, we adopted him from a friend. And it's a, definitely a German name. So, hey, Juanita. Get it? Where's Dieter? I just got it. Hey Bella, your turn. <laughs> All right, they're not gonna play fairly. Bye guys. Bye guys. Girl, say goodbye. Bye guys. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. Bye guys. Yeah. Say goodbye. <laughs> Cece, don't be mad. <laughs> Girl, say goodbye. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Ready? <laughs> Honey, your poor neck. She's pushing on my head. She's pushing on my head the entire time.